Hello there. As we head through the course of tonight, there's still some fairly low temperatures around, but we have got some wet and windy weather working its way into the southwest. And you can see that pretty clearly on the map behind me. That will work through being another wet night, perhaps not quite as windy as the night uh, we saw last night. But we have got nice warning across parts of Scotland and northern England because here it will stay dry. And there'll also be some low temperatures, low enough yes, for a bit of frost and some icy stretches first thing tomorrow morning. So do take care first thing. Away from this, though, with the cloud and the rain, uh, an altogether milder night than we have been used to. As we head through the rest of Saturday, the ice warning will stay in place through the morning. But after a fairly decent start across the of Scotland, well, the rain will start to move in. We'll give some hill snow too, so a less promising end to the day here. But elsewhere, the reverse is true. Things will brighten up quite nicely. We'll see some sunshine. It'll be a blustery old day, but temperatures should be a good deal better than they have been. A lot higher, reaching the low teens, in fact, across some far southern and southwestern parts of the UK. But later on, we see another area of rain starting to push into the southwest. And during the rest of Saturday and into the evening time, well, that rain will start to mount up, enough for a yellow warning, in fact, across uh, some parts of South Wales, southwest England. And as that moves northwards across the rest of the UK, well, it's wrapped around Storm Dillon, and that will give some fairly strong winds. There's a yellow warning for wind as well, with 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts across some parts of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Everywhere, though, should have a milder night, particularly across southern England. OK, one or two spots across northern Scotland still getting down to low single figures, but nowhere near as cold as the last couple of nights have been. Out for New Year's Eve, the wind warning stays in force, but it's a generally improving picture. The rain starts to clear away from the southeast of England. We see some improvement across Scotland too. And as we head through the afternoon, apart from some blustery showers that will follow to some western parts of the UK, it looks pretty decent. There'll be some sunshine out towards central and eastern parts of the UK. Temperatures not quite as high as those as we'll see on Saturday. And with the wind, I think there'll be a generally a cooler feel to come. Now for New Year's Eve, heading towards midnight, a good deal of dry weather as well. Fewer showers, I think, but the best of the clear weather across central and eastern parts of the UK. The temperatures are not desperately low, generally low to mid single figures, but with the wind, Probably a night for coats rather than umbrellas as the clocks change to the 1st of January. So New Year's Day, well, follows a similar theme. It's a pretty decent day, a good deal of dry weather, a good deal of sunshine. There will be an area of rain working its way, though, across Scotland and maybe parts of northern England. That could give some hill snow, but away from that, it's a fairly promising start to 2018. Temperatures generally around slightly above average, just about reaching double figures again, but with the wind, there'll still be a bit of a cool feel.